Hi, this is Reddy with Stupid Racings. In this video, I will show you how to make a countdown video in Final Cut Pro. I'm going to share with you two ways to make a countdown video in Final Cut Pro by counting and by time code. So let's get it on! Let's start with the first method. Go to your browser, go to generators and go to elements, go to counting and drag it to your timeline. You can change the font, the color, and so on. But for this tutorial, let's make it default because Arial looks good on countdowns. Okay, the duration of the counting generator should be plus one second the countdown, or it will count in advance. Okay, if you have a 10 second countdown, then the counting generator is 11 seconds. Did you follow? To change the duration, just select your counting generator and then hit Ctrl D. So this is the frames, seconds, minutes, and hours. Don't click your mouse or drag the purple number right here. Just enter the duration you want on your keyboard. You're gonna make a 10 second countdown, so it will be 11 seconds. So one, one, zero, zero, enter. Okay. By the way, if you entered wrong duration, just hit the mouse anywhere, it will reset, and then repeat option D, and then enter the correct duration. Okay. Now let's change the minimum digits to two because 10 is two digits. This is a countdown video, so it will start at 10. Start 10. The end will be zero. Let's now adjust our countdown. Hit right click and then transform. Hold shift and drag the middle handles so it will not mess up your countdown. Okay, put it at the center. Done. Okay, looks good. If you want a worded countdown, you can change the format to spell out. So it will count down worded 10. Got it? Easy, right? If this video has been helpful to you, go ahead and hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. For the second method, go to your browser, go to elements, and drag the time code on your timeline. Align it to your clip. Okay. Now let's adjust the duration of our time code. Always add one second from the countdown so it will start perfectly and not abrupt. Do you follow? For a 10 second countdown, the time code generator's duration is 11 seconds. So let's select our time code generator and hit Ctrl D. Let's enter 1100. Okay. Perfect. Now go to your generator inspector. You can change the font, the size, the color. We will remove our label. You can also add labels if you want. We will remove it. And we will remove the background color. Make it zero. Okay. Looks good. Now go to your video inspector and go to crop. We will crop left to remove the zeros. Okay. Okay. Looks good. Now select the time code generator and then hit option G to compound the clip. Let's make it countdown. Okay, now go to the bottom of your viewer and then select this read time button. Select, left click, and reverse click. Right click, transform. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Okay, looks good. There you have it. You now have a countdown video. Easy peasy. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something today. But if you want to learn more, I've made another video about how to add shapes in Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out.